Hello, my dear students. We wish all of you are fine and you have enjoyed your vacation. Um, I'm Ipad, and today I'm going to discuss about quality attributes of foods, and it's our part two. In our first part, uh, we have already learned about many things about quality attributes of food, like the quality evaluation methods, the quality characteristics, and uh, some of our factors. And in case of those factors, we also read in details of appearance factors, okay? That how we can evaluate a food with the appearance factor like shape, the size, their gloss, and the form of damage, all of the things we have read in details. In our today's class, actually we'll read about the other factors like textual factors, flavor factors, nutritional factors. So first of all, whenever you learn about the textual factors, you have to know what is texture actually. Whenever you, I say about texture, it means the uh, perception that is the evolution of a food's physical characteristics and uh, that characteristics you can evaluate or you can feel with skin or muscle sense. Okay, that means whenever you touch, okay, whenever you will touch a food, okay, with your hand or with your teeth, then you can feel that food, okay. And if uh, you can feel that food, that means you can feel the texture of that food. So, texture means the qualities of food that you can feel with fingers, tongue, palate, or the teeth, okay. And whenever we feel that with uh, the food with that organs, then we can also measure the texture. Okay. And so texture is the attributes of a substance that resulting from a combination of physical properties and which is perceived by the sense of touch, sight and hearing. And in case of physical properties, actually, you know about that. Uh, that is size, shape, number, nature, okay? It is called the physical properties. So, uh, we can, uh, if uh, we can say that uh, texture means the attributes of substance that resulting from combination of physical properties and which you can perceive by the sense of organ like finger, tongue, palate and teeth. And how we can feel the textual factor like if you think that that is a food, then how we can feel the texture of that food? By touching that, you can feel the firmness and hand feel. And then you can also understand the softness with that. If you can uh, taste with the uh, tongue or uh, with your teeth, then you can feel the chewiness, mouthfeel, and juiciness of that food. Okay, that is the textual factors. And in case of textual factors, there are some characteristics actually. What are they? It is a group of physical properties that vary from the structure of the food. That means if it is an apple, it is firm like an apple or soft like a tomato. Okay, if it is soft like a tomato, that is texture is not good. If it is firm like an apple, that is the uh, texture of that uh, apple is good. That means you can understand that from the texture. And it is always a, a group of properties than the single one. Uh, uh, for example, uh, just recently you saw the see the figure that it is the mouthfeel, chewiness, juiciness, softness. It's a group of properties actually, and uh, we already know that texture is sensed by the feeling of touch, usually in mouth, but other parts of body may be involved, like sense. And it is a texture, and it's a, actually we uh, learn about the texture by measuring by hand, mouth, or our taste by the tongue. But it's not actually any chemical sense of taste or order. Okay, it's the physical properties only. So, uh, if you think about that, you want to measure the texture of a cake. So, how we can measure the texture? You can miss the texture that is spongy or not. It's soft like a cake or it's hard like a biscuit. If it's soft, that texture is good. That is tender or not and it's mouthfeel or not. So by uh, understanding these four criteria, you can uh, measure the texture of a cake if texture is good or, uh, or not. Okay. So th that is our texture factor and how we can understand that. It is a texture analyzer. And uh, with that analyzer, actually, you can measure the texture of the food.
okay there are lots of different varieties of analyzer it is one kind of uh, it is one of them uh, you just keep the food there and whenever it touch the food it just give a reading there that its uh, texture is good or not or what is the actual texture of it is okay and a video is given with that in vlc so you can check how it's work just check the video then uh, our second factor third factor is flavor factor you already know what is flavor that is it's different types of when your different types of chemical goes through our nose then we can just feel that or we can get different kinds of flavor that is called flavor factors and it is actually aroma that is taken by the nose and if you say what is flavor so it is actually the sensory impression of a food or other substances that is determined mainly by the chemical sense of taste and smell actually the taste and smell both are related because you feel the taste of the food appropriately whenever the you smell of that food is good okay so uh, it's always say that flavor and taste is very related materials and both are related with the chemical sense and well uh, the taste is actually five types that is sweet sour bitter salty umami and other basic tests uh, but the smell of food actually are limitless there are lots of thousands of flavor in the world which cannot be categorized but scientists some varieties is categorized in different way but that are uh, very limited okay without that there are thousands of flavor actually in the world okay so if you want to uh, describe the flavor you can say that that is some compounds or volatile compound that is mainly perceived primarily with the nose that is called the flavor that is whenever some of the volatile compounds you can perceive with your nose then you can say that it's the flavor and you can feel the sensation and that is called the flavor okay and color and uh, appearance is very important for food and with that flavor is also very important that is uh, food is actually good or not okay for example if you are going to buy uh, any kinds of fruit that if it's a ripened fruit first of all with the appearance and color gloss you also smell the food that it smells good or not okay and there are different kinds of flavor actually there are some of them but we cannot categorize all of them okay like a spicy flavor flowery flavor fruity flavor or resinous or blasmic flavor burnt or foul flavor that is a different kinds of flavor with that actually in case of food we also say that some uh, flavor is desirable and some are undesirable in case of desirable flavor it can be orange juice potato chips rose beef it is desirable flavor we like it but some are undesirable flavors also that is burnt or heated flavor oxidized rancid flavor it is the undesirable flavor of food okay so uh, that was what is flavor and how uh, different kinds of flavor actually is present uh, that was now how we can measure the flavor okay in case of measuring the flavor there are some methods like gas chromatography is an important uh, actually equipment or method that actually measure the volatile compounds with that some flavor contributing compounds can be measured chemically or physically with some instrument okay uh, for example salt can be measured by conductivity or saltometer sugar can be refractive index acidic with the titration we can also measure it okay and uh, i already mentioned that flavor is a combination of actually uh, taste and smell and is subjective and therefore it's very hard to measure because which is desirable to me flavor but that can be undesirable to you okay i like flowery flavor but you cannot like the uh, flowery flavor so it's very difficult to uh, sensory analysis of the flavor okay and it's very actually present to person okay whenever you measure with the equipment then you can plot it uh, that is our flavor and that was our textural characteristics now uh, if you can remember that 
uh, we have some quality characteristics and appearance, flavor, color, color and uh, um, texture. Actually, that were the physical characteristics of food. And there are also some characteristics there are two that is hidden characteristics of food. Okay. And in case of hidden characteristics of food, there are uh, three important quality factors is very important. That is nutritive value, chemical composition and microbiological quality. So uh, actually you know about that. So I just go through on uh, that topic. That is nutritive. What is nutritive value? You know that uh, there are six kinds of uh, nutrient uh, that we need. That is protein, carbohydrate, fats, protein, minerals, and vitamins. And that is our, uh, whenever we take any food, we actually measure that nutritive value in our food. As we can know, the uh, senses that kind of nutrients so it is a hidden characteristic food okay with that uh, the chemical composition actually that is the proximate analysis of that food with the carbohydrate protein fat ash group fiber and whenever we measure it chemically in the laboratory that is called the chemical uh, composition of the food okay and our third one is microbiological quality we know that what is microbiological quality actually microbiological quality means the microbial safety that is it's it's a component of detection of contaminants in food. With that, it actually says the food is safe for us or not. For example, uh, if any food contains high count of mold or bacteria, then we say that uh, that is not safe for our body. Okay. And if we say, for example, if any pasteurized milk is a high or large number of count of uh, thermodurics, that is, it does not meet the bacterial standard. It's not safe for us. Okay. And uh, as the same way, we can also say that in case of sugar, salt, starch, spices, it's also contribute to the total microbial load. And if we measure and we get that it's not actual standard for our taking, then we have to avoid it. Okay. So it's also an important quality attribute. Okay. And uh, sanitary quality is usually measured. That is found by bacteria, yeast, and mold. That is how uh, how is your sanitation of your food. So that was our hidden characteristics. That three important our that is nutritive value, chemical composition, microbial safety. Okay, that are hidden because we cannot sense it or we cannot uh, check it with our normal eyes. But that that is very important that we have to check for quality attributes of food. And that was our quality attributes of food. Actually, that is our quality factor. We already read about that, our appearance factor, textural factor, our flavor factor. With that, we also read about our physical characteristics, our hidden characteristics, and our quality evolutions. So our quality attributes of food, that was. And with that, that is some parameters that we have to maintain for maintaining quality in food industries. What is that? So, uh, first of all, raw material. Raw material, you have to maintain the specification. Because, for example, uh, you need uh, for uh, making uh, buns or uh, different kinds of uh, biscuit or you want to prepare bread. Okay, in case of that, you need a specific amount of gluten percentage. For example, for bread percentage, you need for making bread, you need high gluten and for cakes you need low gluten okay so in case of that you have to maintain that okay and then processing processing is also important because without the uh, accurate timing or uh, processing your product will not be good okay so processing the safety of any processed food depends on how adequate the processing is a function of time Okay, if it needs 10 minutes for processing, you have to give that. Okay, and then third one is environmental sanitation. In uh, your environmental sanitation is very important because your production area, your processing area, it will be clean and sanitized. Otherwise, your food can be adulterated or contaminated. Then handling and distribution is also important factor. 
and you also can handle or distribute the food is proper way without that if you are for example if your transport milk then you have to transport that milk in a chiller or a freezing or van okay without that your uh, milk can be spoiled so in case of handling in this distribution it's important that how we can store package or transport the food and our last one is consumer that is your consumer is very important so whenever you prepare any food you have to keep in mind about your consumer they as they can get the standard of food and the safe food okay and uh if we can uh if we can maintain that parameters in different kinds of food industries with uh actually the requirement then we can maintain the qualities of food in our food industries okay so uh that's all for today and thank you now you will just keep your uh notes uh, that we are going to discuss in our tomorrow's class a love face.